Hey YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Generation Gap and for today's video we are looking at two generations of the Subaru Forester. This is the fourth generation and fifth generation. Both are from Tomica or Tomica and we start with the older version of the Forester. This lasted from 2014 up to 2018. I believe this is the first release in Melflake Silver. It rolls well as you, as you can expect. Tomica suspension, very crisp and firm. It has headlight tampos with a grill inserts with a Subaru logo in the middle. I like the bulging hood. There's that metal flake silver, very nice in the sunlight. It is riding on this hilarious looking wheels which are plastic and skinny. Too bad it doesn't look good, but great details on the side as well as the back with taillight tempos, Subaru badge, and it also has a opening hatch feature to reveal some generous space inside. Dual split exhaust with the blackout claddings for a sportier look. Shut it up. The base is plastic. Scaling is 1 to 65. That is interesting. But there are two rivets. Now we move on to the newer model, the fifth generation. Started from a 2019 onwards. It is much more bulkier. More sleeker design, but overall the same boxy profile. So it has headlight tampos with a separate grill piece, and of course the uh, plastic, black plastic on the lower bumper. The body lines are more prominent this time. And of course, suspension, you can't get enough of that. It is riding on these custom black wheels. This is not the stock wheels, of course. Low profile and wide, the, uh, the base is also plastic, the same scale, 1 to 65, 2 rivets. There's the uh, black interior, I forgot to show you the older version, the same right hand drive, it's all black, it's all plastic. Roof rails on top, these are molded to the body and of course the taillight tempos at the back with the Subaru badge in the middle. Forester badge in the right and the symmetrical all-wheel drive on the left side, single exhaust, black claddings on the diffuser, very nice details. It doesn't have any opening hatch feature. Now sitting side by side, the newer version is much more bulkier. It's a little bit wi uh, wider. The stands is just a tad bit higher. Overall, a much uh, larger vehicle and overall dimensions but there's only slight gap between them but the same boxy design and there you have it two generations of the Subaru Forester subscribe to this channel for more content like this leave a like and keep safe everyone see you in the next one